Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Pop of Color Live, a music industry late night show for colorful bands and artists. I'm your host, Claire Chiron, and you might notice that it is light out here at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this is the first episode of Pop of Color Live, where I'm not actually live. So, if you can think of a better title for my late night show on the music industry, please let me know because I am in the process of trying to come up with a new name. Tonight's episode is going to be focusing on fan loyalty. But first, as always, let's get to the news. The news is brought to you by Shub Capos this week. News piece number one. Spotify is taking action against people who are using ad blocking in apps to circumvent the ads on their freemium version of the service. What this means is Spotify doesn't make any money whether because no one's listening to the ads but no one's paying for the service therefore Spotify does not have cannot use that money to pay the musicians and the songwriters for for their creations, which is what powers Spotify. For example, here is what an Android user got on their phone when when they tried using Spotify a, with an ad blocker. We detected abnormal activity on the app you are using, so we have disabled it. To access your Spotify account, simply uninstall any unauthorized or modified version of Spotify and download and install it, the Spotify app, from the official Google Play Store. So what they're doing is they are gently coaxing people who perhaps downloaded a crack version at the beginning, forgot they had it, it or something, to do the right thing and either get upgrade to the paid version which doesn't have ads or have to sit through ads when they want to skip songs on Spotify. Anyone who is caught not uh, not listening to their more gentle update is going to be asked to leave the app aka is getting banned. Second piece of news I want to talk about um, Pandora. So Pandora is another streaming service and they reported that their voice activated streams have jumped 50% in 2018 alone. So I've been saying for a while now, audio is the future of technology. Instead of typing, we're going to be doing commands. You can already see this on apps such as Siri, such as Alexa. So as a result, I would highly recommend that you, if you are a songwriter, you name your, you try to come up with more original love titles for your songs. If you do write a song with the same name as a vastly more popular one, prepare to have people request, if people request your song, the voice activated music player plays the more popular version which is not yours. That also comes down to band names too. You might want, if you are coming up with a stage name or a band name or an album title, you'll want something memorable and unique in order to be the first one and therefore the best in your unique niche. Some quick housekeeping, this may be the last episode that features the kittens, that's why when they were going around um, climbing on my new setup, I brought them up because they might be adopted within a week. We'll see. We'll see. Wish them luck. Let me. I will tell them that you all send them love. Uh, I just this is a great experience for me to foster the cats. So I'm very glad I did. If you have any musician friends who would really appreciate my late night talk show. Please send them this video, share this video on your timeline, forward it to people. It would, I love meeting you people. Also, plug for my newsletter, I will send you a very fabulous birthday card in the mail. All you have to do is sign up for my newsletter and I will hand write you a birthday card to go anywhere in the world. 
Oh, it's, I send the newsletter itself twice a month, just a recap of the articles you may have missed, the show episodes you may have missed, and anything else going on that I want you to know about. I also usually send cat pictures, so I don't know. That might help. If you follow me on Instagram, you, I have a new feature that I'm launching with the Instagram stories where I do a quick video about the length of a tweet said out loud with one of my statuses on my other channels. I just thought it would really help get my personality across day to day. And when you're working as a freelancer in your, with your apartment being your office, it can be hard to motivate yourself to get out of bed in the morning some mornings. So what this does is it forces me to get up, get dressed, get pretty, go and record a little video for you guys with some motivation both for you and for me. Now, on to the proper episode. Thank you so much for sticking around. Every brand wants a fan. Every artist wants a customer. Today, we are going to be talking about fan loyalty. More specifically, a concept called enterprise gamification. What is enterprise gamification? Well, you know how many big retail stores will have a system to reward loyal customers, whether it be buy nine coffees, get a tenth free, or um, a point system um, that results in discounts or free goods, it's depending on how often they shop. Think of that concept, but also interacting with other things that fans and customers can do that don't require spending money and real world interactions. It's like an artist fan club meets a retailer's brand loyalty system amped up for the digital age. What I wanted to present to you today was the idea of how you can take the concept of enterprise gamification and have it apply to your own music business, whether you be an artist or on the business side such as I. It's no secret that some fans are more loyal than others. People who buy your, your new album on opening day, chances are, are more loyal than those who pirate the mp3 files. So why not reward the fans who are most loyal and play into our human nature of being competitive by turning it into a little bit of a competition in, in the sense of rankings and tiers and different levels and perks that can be unlocked upon reaching certain levels of what to do. The thing that separates this kind of loyalty system from patronage such as Patreon is that there are both purchasing and non-purchasing actions. So what your fans and customers can do isn't just spending money with you. They can also do other things that will help you in your career. So for example, some non-purchasing actions, so free things they could do could be comment on your video subscribe to your social channels, share a Facebook video, or all the, any kind of things like that to pull the word out, subscribe to your newsletter, all sorts of kind of things that could add up in points, add up in loyalty without necessarily spending money at first. Then you have the purchasing actions, so things they can, fans can do that require spending money, such as going to your shows, buying merch, paying for the album, um, donating to crowdfunding campaigns, etc. Then how you do it is you have ranks things, and levels up that fans can reach um, where it unlocks certain perks depending on, uh, on what level they, ha they attain. I have a downloadable worksheet in the description of this video that will show you and give you examples of things you can do on that front. So 
For example, I want to take some real life examples to demonstrate what I'm talking about. Take the makeup retailer Sephora. Okay. Their system has three ranks for customers. The first rank is anyone can join. The second, it can only be attained if a customer spends a certain amount of money in the in within a year. And the third, same but higher. Higher and that's the third. Simple, streamlined, and once you hit every time you hit a certain rank, you unlock new new perks such as free shipping from online or complimentary services and all sorts of special exclusives that fans of that brand would find very beneficial for them. Another example would be Starbucks. Fold star system. So every dollar you spend at Starbucks is two stars. Once you hit 150 stars, I believe, you get a free drink or meal of your choice. But what's interesting with Starbucks is they have plenty of promotions such as double star days or or games or thing little things within the point system that send to your inbo email inbox or go through the app that make you want to come more frequently and keep things unexpected because you could earn more stars if you go just this afternoon, getting you into a, one of their locations more frequently. So the example I wanted to give with this idea is to create your own fan base tiered system because like I mentioned before not every fan base is built equally so let's take let's split your fan base your current fan base into three tiers tier number three so this is bottom level this is where you would have the biggest number of people who do not have a track record of spending money on you so let's call Say those are your social media followers, if you want to put a number on it. it once once they, move, they move up to tier two, let's call those your email list subscribers. So smaller in number than your total number of social media followers. There's slightly more loyal to you because they handed over their email address and are regularly receiving communication from you. However, they do not have quite the same amount of clout as your top tier, so this would be your patrons and super fans. So these would be the people who have a track record of donating on your crowdfunding campaigns means or simply inviting you to crash on their couch when you're touring in their area. So the idea is you want to take outsiders into tier three, tier three members into tier two, to tier one, so on unlocking certain prizes is when they achieve different ranks through a system that you can create yourself. The math formula I made up to illustrate this concept, I'm going to put it right there, is x equals z over y, where x is the sales goal. So this is the purchasing amount a fan is required to spend on you yearly to maintain the mid-tier status. Y would be the amount of fans in your middle tier, such as your email list subscribers, and Z, your annual income goal. So for example, if you if you plan to do music full-time, work in the business full-time, and, and you need to replace what's, whatever's left of your current day job income, Take, take that, make it the Z, your annual income goal, divide it by the amount of fans you have of, on your email list, so middle tier fans, and whatever you have left, if that number is the amount they need to, each of those middle tier fans has to spend on you every year to make you the annual income goal and to keep their middle tier status. If you want to go even further into it, say if you are a local act, and most of your fans are local to your area. You might even want to divide that by 12 to create every month something different. If you are, are playing diff playing shows, this might be the, how many the price influence the price of your tickets. That's how often you release new merch, merch or diff or influence your tours. Here's working backwards from that. 
concept. So I just wanted to show you this thing called Enterprise Gamification, the math formula. I have a link to the original article I based this off of that I wrote in the description of this video, as well as a free worksheet for you to plug in the numbers yourself. See you.